I was sickened. I was sickened by the standing ovation. I felt like Hollywood is just spineless, en masse. And uh, it just, it really felt like, oh, this is a really clear indication that uh, we're not the cool club anymore. Jim Carrey, like everyone else watching the 2022 Oscars, witnessed Will Smith slap Chris Rock and was not pleased with what transpired next. He had a lot of harsh words for the man that shocked the world at the Oscars, and some will definitely leave you surprised. The 60-year-old actor from Liar Liar remarked, I was sickened on CBS Mornings on Tuesday, March 29th. I was sickened by the standing ovation. I felt like Hollywood is just spineless en masse. It really felt like, oh, this is a really clear indication that we're not the cool club anymore. Smith went on to accept the Best Actor Oscar for his role in King Richard after getting into a confrontation with the 53-year-old rapper and the 57-year-old Saturday Night Live star. All of the people at the Dolby Theater on March 27th, when the Philadelphia native won, came up to cheer him, as Kerry mentioned. In 2002 and 2007, Smith was nominated for a Golden Globe Award for Best Actor but ultimately did not win. There was some question today about if any anyone else had walked from the audience and done that, they would have been escorted out by security or maybe even arrested. The police asked, asked Chris if he been. wanted to file charges. They asked Chris, do you want to file charges? And Chris apparently said, no, he did not. He doesn't want the hassle. I, I'd, have, I'd have announced this morning that I was suing Will for $200 million, because that... Kerry told Gail King that Ollie Star Smith should have been arrested, but Rock did not seek charges against Smith after the incident. It's hard not to see Kerry's point in the clip, even if suing for that amount might be slightly excessive. The Canadian native went on to say that it's okay to yell from the audience if you don't approve of a joke. But you do not have the right to walk up on stage and smack somebody in the face because they said words. King argued that the incident escalated to that level, but Kerry disagreed. It didn't escalate. He said that it came out of nowhere because Will has something going on inside him that's frustrated. I wish him the best. I really do. I don't have anything against Will Smith. He's done great things, but that was not a good moment. It cast a pall over everybody's shining moment. Other actors agreed. Watch the show. I'm sure you saw the moment everyone is talking about between Chris and Will. Your thoughts? I don't condone violence. I just don't see any reason for it. The actor from Independence Day openly apologized for his actions at the Oscars the day after the night, stating that Chris Rock's joke about Jada Pinkett Smith's alopecia had been too much to bear. I was out of line and I was wrong. He wrote via Instagram on March 28th. I am embarrassed and my actions were not indicative of the man I want to be. There is no place for violence in a world of love and kindness. Harry remained silent on the actor's apologies but reaffirmed the difficulty of being nominated for an Oscar. He claimed that the entire occasion had been tarnished by Will's outburst. A lot of people worked really hard to get to that place and to have their moment in the sun to get their award for the really hard work they did. The Ace Ventura star told King, It is no mean feat to go through all the stuff you have to go through when you're nominated for an Oscar. It's a gauntlet of devotion that you have to do. It was just a selfish moment that cast a pall over the whole thing. The Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences indicated they would be looking into the incident after the ceremony concluded. The Academy condemns the actions of Mr. Smith at last night's show, the organization said in a statement to Variety on Monday. We have officially started a formal review around the incident and will explore further action and consequences in accordance with our bylaws, standards of conduct, and California law. The actor should have been arrested for punching Chris Rock at the Oscars, but Jim Carrey is being called out for hypocrisy for saying so. Tweets have shown a video of Carrie from June 1997 while he was accepting an award at the MTV Movie Awards. After accepting his prize for the cable guy, Carrie appears on stage and gives a forceful kiss to Alicia Silverstone on the lips, much to Silverstone's discomfort. At the time, Silverstone was only 20, while Carrie was over 35. The actor has been called a hypocrite for his remarks about the event involving Smith, and his behavior in the videos has also been criticized. The video has been shared thousands of times on Twitter since it was uploaded, albeit it should be noted that the majority of these tweets incorrectly state Silverstone's age. Apparently, he went backstage to apologize to a humiliated Silverstone. One Twitter user wrote, Jim Carrey says Will Smith should have been arrested for hitting Chris Rock. How about when Jim Carrey forcibly kissed Alicia Silverstone when he was going up on stage to accept an award? Imagine being Jim Carrey sickened by a slap while also being the same Jim Carrey who forcefully kissed Alicia Silverstone. Tweeted another user, It had literally no impact on his career whatsoever, one of the actor's critics stated, with another adding, Look at her reaction after he did it, she looks so disgusted. Even more actors than Carrey have been caught kissing award presenters without their will. After winning Best Actor for The Pianist in 2003, Adrian Brody stunned Hal Berry by kissing her. She told Andy Cohen in 2017 that her first reaction was that of extreme shock and disgust. 
Smith, slapping of rock quickly became the most talked about event from this year's Oscars ceremony, leading to significant criticism of his behavior from many Hollywood peers. Despite the incident, Smith received a standing ovation after he accepted the award for Best Actor for his portrayal of King Richard and afterward broke down in tears while accepting the award. After Rock made a joke about Jada Pinkett Smith's bald head, referring to her as G.I. Jane, numerous celebrities, including this one, weighed in on the situation. Pinkett Smith has been very candid about her battles with alopecia. Carey elaborated on his previous statements in a follow-up interview with the Associated Press. I see it as a larger issue, and it's an issue of the boundaries being broken, boundaries and allowances and permissiveness to certain behaviors," Carrie told the outlet. The fact is that license is being given to people to act out violently when they don't like what they hear. And it just shouldn't be. The 60-year-old showed compassion for Smith, saying he understood that Smith felt pressured into his conduct. He said, I also think that people not unlike Will or myself, we live in a lot of pressure. We set up a lot of pressure for ourselves, we're encouraged by this country to never stop and never be satisfied and never look at our lives and going, you know what, I'm enough, I have enough, I've done enough, I don't need nine businesses, I don't need to be a movie producer, director, writer, actor, star and have a record company and be on TikTok and be on social media and have a reality show and share my innermost life on some therapy show. Terry continued, it's beyond our bandwidth and we're starting to see the symptoms of what it's like to be living beyond your bandwidth and cracking under the pressure. That's what it was. It was more than just an insult to someone's wife. Jade is a tough girl. She can defend herself. She wasn't being physically attacked. What that was was someone who was beyond the bandwidth, and he thought more about how he was looking in that moment than what was the right thing to do. The actor concluded, I don't condemn for it. It's just wrong. Jim Carrey has been rather candid about his history of mental illness. Thus, the fact that he was able to identify indicators of some internal difficulties in Will Smith could be quite revealing. Mila Kunis, who was in attendance at the 2022 Academy Awards where Will Smith slapped Chris Rock, later told C Magazine in October 2022 that she was shocked by the number of people who rose to their feet during Smith's acceptance speech. Not standing up, to me, was a no-brainer, but what was shocking to me was how many people did stand up. She she said, I thought, wow, what a time we're living in that rather than do what's right. People focus on doing what looks good. It's insane to me. Pinkett Smith, who has been married to Smith for nearly 25 years, finally broke her silence on the altercation in June 2022 on an episode of her Facebook Watch series, Red Table Talk. My deepest hope is that these two intelligent, capable men have an opportunity to heal, talk this out and reconcile, the Screen 2 star said at the time. The state of the world today, we need them both. And we all actually need one another more than ever. She also noted that she has Smith's back in the aftermath of the scandal, adding, Until then, Will and I are continuing to do what we have done for the last 28 years, and let's keep figuring out this thing called life together. Smith has already publicly apologized for the slap, so he and Rock have apparently patched things up and are back to being good buddies. Rock seems to be handling the situation with great poise and dignity, despite the fact that some people, like Jim Carrey, would likely still sue Will Smith. So, do you think Jim Carrey is in the right here? Let us know in the comments comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more of these latest updates. Until next time, thanks for watching.